Barack Obama is the 44th president of the United States. Born in Hawaii to a mother from Kansas and a father from Kenya, he himself is now the father of two daughters, Malia and Sasha. It was spending time with them that inspired him to write Of The I Sing. After Barack Obama became president, he and his wife Michelle and their daughters moved into the White House in Washington, D.C., where they currently live with their dog, Bo. E. I Sing, A Letter to My Daughters by Barack Obama, illustrated by Lauren Long. Have I told you lately how wonderful you are? How the sound of your feet running from afar brings dancing rhythms to my day. How you laugh and sunshine spills into the room. Have I told you that you are creative? A woman named Georgia O'Keefe moved to the desert and painted petals, bone, bark. She helped us to see big beauty and what is small, the hardness of stone and the softness of feather. Have I told you that you are smart? That you braid great ideas with imagination. A man named Albert Einstein turned pictures in his mind into giant advances in science, changing the world with energy and light. Have I told you that you are brave? A man named Jackie Robinson played baseball and showed us all how to turn fear to respect and respect to love. He swung his bat with the grace and strength of a lion and gave brave dreams to other dreamers. Have I told you that you are a healer? Sitting Bull was a Sioux medicine man who healed broken hearts and broken promises. It is fine that we are different, he said. For peace, it is not necessary for eagles to be crows. Though he was put in prison, his spirit soared free on the plains, and his wisdom touched the generations. Have I told you that you have your own song? A woman named Billie Holiday wore a gardenia in her hair and sang beautiful blues to the world. Her voice, full of sadness and joy, made people feel deeply and add their melodies to the chorus. Have I told you that you are strong? A woman named Helen Keller fought her way through long, silent darkness. Though she could not see or hear, she taught us to look at and listen to each other. Never waiting for life to get easier, she gave others courage to face their challenges. Have I told you how important it is to honor others' sacrifices? A woman named Maya Lin de designed the Vietnam Veterans Memorial to remember those who gave their lives in the war, and the Civil Rights Memorial to thank the many who fought for equality. Public spaces should be filled with art, she thought, so that we can walk amidst it, recalling the past and inspired to fix the future. Have I told you that you are kind? A woman named Jane Adams fed the poor and helped them find jobs. She opened doors and gave people hope. She taught adults and invited children to play and laugh and let their spirits grow wide. Have I told you that you don't give up? When violence erupted in our nation, a man named Martin Luther King Jr. taught us unyielding compassion. He gave us a dream that all races and creeds would walk hand in hand. He marched and he prayed and one at a time opened hearts and saw the birth of his dream in us. 
have I told you that you are an explorer? A man named Neil Armstrong was the first to walk on the moon. He watched the world from way up high, and we watched his lunar landing leaps, which made us brave enough to take our own big, bold strides. Have I told you that you are inspiring? A man named Cesar Chavez showed farm workers their own power when they felt they had none. The people were poor but worked hard and loved the land. Caesar picketed, prayed, and talked. The people listened to their hearts and marched for their rights. Si se puede? Caesar said, yes, you can. Have I told you that you are a part of a family? A man named Abraham Lincoln knew that all of America should work together. He kept our nation one and promised freedom to enslaved sisters and brothers. This man of the people, simple and plain, asked more of our country, that we behave as kin. Have I told you to be proud to be an American? Our first president, George Washington, believed in liberty and justice for all. His barefoot soldiers crossed wintry rivers, forging ever on. He helped make an idea into a country, strong and true, a country of principles, a country of citizens. Have I told you that America is made up of people of every kind? People of all races, religions, and beliefs. People from the coastlines and the mountains. People who have made bright lights shine by sharing their unique gifts and giving us the courage to lift one another up, to keep the fight, to work and build upon all that is good in our nation. Have I told you that they are all a part of you? Have I told you that you are one of them, and that you are the future? And have I told you that I love you?